Part of the Yamato Works animation kit includes IO Save and IO Load. These are plugins designed to make loading and saving animations faster and easier. The only requirement is that things in your scene must have unique naming conventions in order for the plugin to know what it needs to operate on. Saving animations is incredibly easy. Just select all the desired items and save out a file. You can include or exclude item types, and you have control over what exactly gets saved. You can save just your selected item, items plus their children, or you can just save everything in the scene. When loading animations, there's a little bit to explain here. Most of the time you can just open up either a motion file or an entire directory of motion files, leaving everything at their defaults, but opening a file does not automatically apply the animation. Instead, you select any desired items in the scene after opening that file, and then hit the load button down here, which in reality should say apply rather than load. Basically, if the name of what you have selected matches what is contained within your motion file, it will apply the motion data and factor in all the options that are in place here. Because applying motions is always relative to your selection, it gives you a very high level of control over where and how your motion files are used. This includes load range, which refers to the motion file's information shown up here, insert position, and clear key. Clear is most often used when you want to completely replace any existing animation present in the timeline. While these plugins do operate exclusively by name matching, the options found in the item name convert pull down menu can help you load motion data onto things that mostly match the names of your items. Most often, the replace option is the way to go here. As a final note, if you have multiple characters in your scene, I recommend that you leave Check Full Path off.